Ever since Google switched to the Tensor chipset, the Pixel devices have never been about breaking benchmark records. The goal is to provide a software-optimized experience that can last for years. If any of you have had an Android device slow down to a crawl after a year or two, then you know how annoying it can be. So with Google's software optimization team at the helm, we've seen the Pixel series gaining popularity as a reliable device able to handle your average smartphone tasks. But what about those who want to get the most out of their hardware? There's only so much processing power in the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro that even Google themselves are aware of it. So if you're wanting to know where the Pixel 8 stands when compared to the competition, we first need to run it through a gauntlet of benchmarks. And today I'll be showing off scores that I've personally done with my Pixel 8 using apps like Geekbench, PC Mark, and Tutu, and more. We'll start off with Geekbench 6 and going through the list here. If you have any recommendations for benchmark tests that you would like to see done on this device, then let me know down in the comment section below. I recommend using the YouTube chapters feature if you would like to skip to specific benchmark app scores that you are curious about. So again, we're going to start off with Geekbench 6 and we're going to test the CPU. And as this test finishes up, you can see we were able to obtain a single core score of 1694 and a multi-core score of 4439. Here is a breakdown of those tests. And we can see that according to Geekbench 6, in single core tests, our Google Pixel 8 ranks somewhere between the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 and the Xiaomi 13, while our multi-core score puts us somewhere again between the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 and the Galaxy S23. Next up we have the Geekbench ML benchmark test, which we can run using the default settings. Which we can see gave us a TensorFlow Lite CPU score of 423 and you can see our individual score tests here. Now let's test the GPU with that same framework. which gave us a score of 1099. And here is our individual score tests here. And last up for Geekbench 6 ML, we're going to be testing the neural network API backend, again using TensorFlow Lite. And that gave us a score of 2,081. And here are our individual test results. Next up, we'll be benchmarking the Google Pixel 8 with the app PCMark. 
and we're going to be doing the work 3.0 performance test to start off. And that gave us a score of 10,106. with our individual scores here. Now let's run PCMark's storage 2.0 benchmark test. And that gives us a score of 24,395 with the individual test scores here. Next up we have the 3D Mark graphics benchmarking test. And we're going to be starting off with the wildlife extreme test. And we were able to get a score of 2,433. Let's move over to the wildlife test. Where the Google Pixel 8 was able to achieve a benchmark score of 8,652. Now I would run the slingshot extreme test but we're told here that the Pixel 8 is too powerful and it is recommended that we run the wildlife test, which we've already done. And we are unable to run the solar bay test since this device does not support all of the Vulcan features required to run this test. So let's move on to N22. And this is the current latest beta of version 10. Using the latest N22 beta, which I believe is beta 10 of version 10, we achieved a score of 1,093,072. And we can look at our individual CPU scores individual GPU scores, our individual RAM test scores, and lastly our individual UX or user experience scores. So that wraps up our suite of benchmarking apps for Android. The testing done on the Google Pixel 8 here should help to show where the device ranks in terms of raw compute power, which in turn tends to show how it compares when performing tasks like emulating games and editing videos. I am currently working on a website to display these types of test scores while also offering a quick way to compare them to other Android devices on the market. The website is in its very early stages right now, but hopefully I will have something to show you all very soon.